Dear God, I thank you for this beautiful day. Help me to live this day with full consciousness and awareness and with compassion and joy. And when the time comes when I have to go, hold my hand and I will follow you. She is really an embodiment of a balance of aura at Labora. She looked at herself as somebody who has given so much grace and blessing from God that it has to be returned to the people. She's liberal. She's open to a lot of ideas. Very, very passionate about the things that she believes in. She's serious about changing the world, and yet she's a fun person to be with. She thinks big. She dreams big. And she works hard to get that dream come true. Very important for Sister Mary Jan ang Catholic education. Maraming paraan na pinapakita niya ito sa pamamagitan ng, let's say, mass media. Marami siyang libro, which she discusses uh, theology extensively. She has uh, mentored or maybe been uh, instrumental really in also giving opportunities uh, for those who are not able to um, really um, have enough resources. She has not worked only within the system. She has also worked outside of the system. So she instituted educational reform. But she has also worked with other organizations to improve the system. She believed that learning is not just in the four walls of the classroom, but learning is something that is social. You know, when you say Catholic education, it's not just here, it's also here. The way we have worked with Sister Mary John, the way, the way she has worked with us, it's really Catholicism in action. It's the church in action. I believe that for many people who perhaps have a calcified idea of what the church is, she would be controversial. But she precisely asks the questions that should be asked that many people do not ask. So I think she represents precisely the church in the 21st century. So you church as people of God was a very important phrase for her. And then most especially when she looked at herself, the institutions of the church, including priests and bishops, where she said, we are the servants of the people of God. She wanted to translate that. So a big word for us is always service. Sister Mary John has really been vocal in terms of equality in the church, you know, both for women and men. Her advocacies have always been for those who are disenfranchised. She began with women. She has now moved on to children and other the diverse diversity indigenous people. A lot of times, no, she would have comments like she should just remain as a sister and, and, and therefore not be involved in politics. But that is not what what is not the path of Jesus Christ. No? I've never seen any nun who is more nationalistic than Sister Mary John. And she's just not a nationalist, but she's also she stands for democracy and she's pro-people. Sister Mary John humanizes uh, our faith. You can see that in her relationship with people, just by the way that she deals with them. It's quite difficult to balance your social involvement and then your life of prayer as a nun and even as a, an academic administrator. But she was able to do that. Pro Deo et Patria for God and Country. Pag sinabi mo yun, si Sister Mary Jan yun. She lives it. She sit. Yung kanon tipo. Nasa kanya na yun. Wala na tayong pag-uusapan pa. Say everything that she has done, it is really for love of, of humanity. Ah, uh, Sister, if before you thought you were a lone tree, I would say now you have a forest. There are just so many people that you have inspired, so many people that you have touched. And thank you, thank you so much for doing that. 
Oh, Sister Mary Jan, congratulations. Well deserved long, long ago. From this perch, you will use it to preach some more and work with more organizations. Congratulations, Sister. Sister. <laughs> congratulations. Um, this is long overdue. Talagang the work that you started, the work that you continue, is a work that is greatly appreciated by everyone. Congratulations. Sister Mary Chan, you know I love you so much. Thank you for all the things that you have taught me and my fellow students. Thank you for your service to our Filipino people. I'm happy and glad to stand with you for justice and for the empowerment of women. For us, your sisters in the Manila community, and at the same time, the entire family of St. Scholastica's College Manila, we congratulate you, Mother. You have always been an inspiration to us. You have been a prime mover of, of St. Scholastica's College for what it is now. And we thank God for you. We thank God for the gift of your person. Congratulations, Mother. Mary John, you have reached 84. And if you look back at your life, it has been a beautiful life. It has been a fulfilling life. And uh, you should just live all these days in gratitude and thanksgiving to God for this beautiful life. Dare to dream and dream big. Because if your dream is for humanity and it is worthwhile for feeling, all the forces of the universe will align themselves to make your dream come true.